A very good morning from Bodrum, Turkey. I am staying at a resort hotel about 10 kilometers north of the city and I've been there for about a week. I thought it was time that I took a trip here into Bodrum itself and did a little bit of exploring. I caught a local bus left from pretty much directly outside of the hotel this morning. One euro for a 20, 25 minute ride and it has dropped me off just close to the harbour area with all of these big super yachts and expensive boats. There's a fortress and an amphitheatre here and probably lots of other things to explore as well. So I think for the next few hours, I'm gonna stroll around Bodrum and uh, see what I can find. Cause I found my way. Take a quick walk through the Grand Bazaar. Hello. Lots of uh, designer bags and belts. Basketball jerseys up there. Lots of shirts and coats. Maybe. No, thank you. Wow. works. Made it inside the fortress now of Bodrum. It is, as you can see, pretty magnificent building. Lots of artifacts and pillars and things to look at inside. There are massive, really well-kept fortress walls and great views over the bay of Bodrum and the islands out in the sea. It was built, I have found out, in the 15th century by the Knights of St. John. I learned a lot about the Knights of St. John when I spent a week in Malta a few years ago. So check out my videos of Valletta to learn more about the Knights of St. John. But they pretty much built this whole castle in the style that it perhaps would have built it in Malta. It was a hundred years later that the Ottoman Turks took over the fortress and uh, they ruled here for the next 400-ish years. This chapel inside the walls of the fortress was built by the Knights of St. John in 1406 and it was surrendered a bit later on to the Ottoman Turks and when it was surrendered to them about a hundred years after it was converted into a mosque and a minaret was built above the chapel. me you'll know that I'm rather partial to a good view and I definitely have one here so take a look at this there we go over there there are four towers that's the English Tower this is the French Tower lots of houses and buildings in the background lining the beach over there and as I come down here Got to be careful because there's no railings on the edges of these walls, but right there is the Spanish Tower and the German Tower somewhere in there as well.
made it inside the ancient mausoleum of the city. Just behind me there you can see the site. I'm going to go down, I'll tell you a little bit more about it and talk a little about the history. Um, but it cost 25 Turkish Lira to get in. The Turkish Lira is really struggling against Western currencies at the moment. 100 Turkish Lira currently will get you £4.50 in sterling, €5.50 and about $5.50. 60 cents in uh, the USA so you get a lot of value out of the Turkish Lira at the moment. I'm going to head down there as I said though and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. I'm just heading down now to the ruins of the tomb of Morsalus. Morsalus was a ruler of a city called Halicarnassus which essentially is Bodrum under its original Greek name and Morsalus ruled the area and when the ruler died a mausoleum was built right here 45 meters high so it would have been absolutely huge you can see over there some old buildings the old wall and structure of the site and a mosque in the background there as well but this tomb would have been originally built in 351 BCE but it was destroyed by successive earthquakes between the 12th and 15th centuries. It had its own drainage system under there as well so it was definitely built to last and to be fair it did. It lasted for what between sort of 1500 and 2000 years. It is a sweltering day by the way, August 2022, 35, 36 degrees today in the heat here. And you can see here the sign, Morsalus Tomb Chamber. There we go, and all these pillars scattered across the landscape here, probably left from how they fell after the earthquakes. You'll never guess where I am now. It has been a slog to get up here in the heat. I'm about 150 feet above sea level and it's taken me about 20 minutes to get here from the harbour. Let me show you my view. There we go. The amphitheatre of Bodrum dates back to the 4th century BCE so it's about coming up to two and a half thousand years old and it has these absolutely amazing views over the rest of the city and the harbour down there you can see the castle or the fortress let me see if I can zoom in there we go that's where I started down there the fortress the island in the background I think is a Turkish island but then behind that are some of the Greek islands not too far away from here you can get a boat trip to the Greek islands as part of a day trip if you wanted to. Kos and Kafalonia and all of those. It is definitely a worthwhile thing to do if you're here for an extended period of time. Let me come back round here now though and show you this amphitheatre once again. Show you where I'm perched right at the top here. And the reason I'm right at the top is there is a tree protecting me from the sun looks like there are still shows because they are practicing I think for a show perhaps happening tonight there we go and that's the rest of the amphitheater as you head further on up towards the top of the hill but yeah pretty incredible right I think I'm going to uh, head back now towards the bus station it has been a very, very pleasant day trip. Definitely worthwhile if you're in the area, but thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Good afternoon from Turkey.